first I thought this guy was going to try to chase down a cruise ship out there. But now it seems that he's just playing in this, uh, this area here. He goes out about 200 yards or so. Oop, he's fell, he fell off there. Yeah, he's quick to get back up though. But now he's back and, uh, and then he comes charging into the beach every few minutes. So there, whoa, that was a good one. What a jump. That was a great jump. He's got about four or five foot surf here. There aren't many surfers out. There was one earlier. Now here he's coming on in again. He's like he races into the beach, both using the the surf and the uh, sail to bring him in. There he comes. There he comes. Uh, he's out of my vision now. I mean, he is, but the sail isn't. Here he comes again, back up the beach from south to north. There he is, he's out there now. Yeah, he's good, this guy. Does some great leaps over the surf. I don't know if you can see it, but out there beyond that shrimp boat with the light on is a, a Carnival Cruise Liner going out on a Saturday night for probably for a four-nighter. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Now it'd be a three-nighter. And then they'd go out again Tuesday through Saturday morning on a four-nighter. So they're probably going down to Nassau from Port Canaveral which we're right in Central Florida, so we're right at a uh, at a midpoint here in this in the state of Florida, and a lot of the uh, people who go to Disney, Orlando, come out here and take a cruise for maybe four or three nights. There goes the sky over our pool, and he turns around and comes back. The kite of the sail swoops down. This guy is good. He's a joy to watch. He really knows how to play those waves. 